Are you ready to take your model creation skills to the next level? In this video, we're going to explore the power of Olama's model file, a format that's so intuitive and effective, it might just make you question everything you thought you knew about custom AI model configuration. Get ready to unlock a whole new world of possibilities. We'll look at how to use the model file to customize an existing base model such as Llama 3.2. Download any GGUF file from Hugging Face or GitHub and add it to a llama, and even how to take a safe tensors model and convert it into a format that Olama can understand. We'll be walking through each step of the process with clear explanations and practical examples. So even if you're new to AI model development, you'll be able to follow along and build your own custom models in no time. This video is part of the Olama course, which is designed to help you learn everything you need to know about using the Olama platform in everything you do. So far, there are two playlists in this course, a basic one that covers the basics of using Olama and the advanced one that dives into more complex topics. This video is part of that advanced playlist and makes plenty of assumptions about your knowledge of the product. Models in Olama are a little bit different from other platforms. While most would consider the large model weights file to be the full model, Olama sees it as just a portion of the model since it's useless on its own until you add a few other components. In order to start working with a model, you also need a system prompt, a template, maybe set some parameters and maybe even add an adapter. These are all things that go together, but most tools keep them separate for some reason. Olama puts them all into the model where they belong. If you've spent any time working with models in another AI platform, you may have found that frustrating. You can spend hours struggling with complex configurations and interfaces, feeling overwhelmed by the technical requirements, but Olama and its model file concept changes everything. The model file is one of Olama's key innovations. It's a simple yet powerful blueprint for creating and customizing AI models. It provides clear and concise instructions that tell your model exactly how to behave. The model file lays out everything in plain English with only a few instructions, eliminating the need for dense documentation or guesswork. Let's take a look at what makes it so special. At its core, the model file uses an intuitive syntax that even beginners can understand. A basic example might look like this, from llama 3.2, parameter temperature one, and then run the command to create your model. That's olama create my cool model dash f dot slash model file. So in this command, my cool model is the name chosen for the model. And that's how it'll appear when you run olama ls. Dash F says to read in a model file at the given path. With just two lines in the model file plus one command, you've set up a model based on Llama 3.2 with a specific temperature setting. It's amazing how quickly you can get started. Now, despite its simplicity, the model file offers powerful customization options as well. You can adjust the context window size, set stop words, and tweak various parameters to create models tailored to your specific needs. We'll look at some of these options in more detail on this video, but you should review the model file docs at this URL for a full list of available options. What sets Olama apart is its balance between simplicity and power. This simple syntax gets you started quickly while the built-in options allow for detailed adjustments. It's like having training wheels you can take off when you're ready for a more advanced ride. What starts out as frustration turns into excitement when you finally understand the model file. So next, let's dive a little bit deeper into using this file. Now, Olama's base model concept offers anyone a powerful way to customize existing AI models to fit their exact needs. Using a base model in Olama saves time and effort, allowing you to focus on the specific tweaks that matter most for your project. Maybe you wanna build on the strengths of an existing model, but the idea of modifying such intricate systems can be daunting. The process is surprisingly straightforward. It starts with selecting that right base model. Now, Olama offers a wide range of models to choose from, each with its own strengths. Let's build our next model using the 3 billion parameter quantization of Quen 2.5. 
With the base model selected, the next step is to start working with the model file. Start with a simple command from quen 2.5 colon 3b. This sets the stage for the custom model. You can then use parameter command to adjust key aspects of the model. Set temperature to 1 and expand context to 8000 tokens, allowing the model to consider more information when generating responses. Using the system command is the next stage. This command allows you to give the model a unique personality and set of instructions. You can try out different scenarios such as system, you are Mario from Super Mario Brothers acting as an assistant. Suddenly, the AI takes on a whole new character, ready to answer your questions with a playful Mario-inspired twist. You can continue to play with the model and discover new ways to customize it. The model file's flexibility allows you to create a model that's truly your own, tailored to your specific needs and goals. You can adjust parameters, set system instructions, and create custom templates for more structured interactions. Once you get the basics down, you can then go much deeper by trying out other base models from different sources. All of Olama's models are stored and shared in a format called GGUF. This is a pretty standard format used by many different AI systems, so it's easy to find other models on Hugging Face and on GitHub that may work on Olama as well. There are a couple main ways to bring these models into Olama. One is easier if everything's perfect, but things often aren't perfect. And the other is much like the first when things aren't perfect, but in a slightly different way. So let's start with the first method where all the stars align just right. The first step is to find a good GGUF formatted model on Hugging Face. Here's a good one to start with. Bartowski slash QWQ dash 32B dash preview dash GGUF colon Q4 underscore zero. <sighs> To find this model, start by going to Hugging Face and then click on Models, and then in Libraries, click on GGUF. The first one in the list when I looked was QWQ 32B Preview GGUF by Bartowski. Then when I clicked on Files and Versions and then on the GGUF icon for one of the GGUF files, scroll down and I found the template for the model. Older GGUF models will often be missing the template and they'll be trickier to import. On the details page, you can click on use this model button and then choose Olama. Copy the command and paste it into the terminal and hit enter. This will download the model to your local machine and add it to your Olama model library. To tweak this model, just repeat that same process we used for the first model, but this time use the Hugging Face model in the from line instead. If the model does not include the template, then you'll need to run that same command as before and then create a model file pointing to the model and add a template. I covered how to create a template in the previous video, so go back and watch that video if you need a refresher. Okay, if you're creating the template yourself, then you could alternatively download the model from Hugging Face and then create a model file pointing to the path of the downloaded files and add a template. Then run the same create command as before to add the model. Now, if you want to add a model to your Olama library, but it's only available as safe tensors, then you can download the model repo and create a model file pointing to the path of the downloaded files and add a template. Then run that same create command as before. While the Olama team is working on making all models available and support all model architectures, they're not there yet. You can find a list of what's supported in the model import documentation. There, you can also find the docs on the create command. You can learn more there on quantizing the model when you import it. As you can see, the concept of the model file with its intuitive syntax and robust options opens up new possibilities for model management at all skill levels. From working with existing models to importing from various file formats, Olama gives unprecedented control over AI creations. Olama provides a framework where your ideas can flourish where you can push by boundaries and create something truly innovative. The future of AI is being shaped right now by developers like you. With Olama, you have the power to contribute to a, that future in meaningful ways. So take that first step, start experimenting, and see where your creativity leads. Who knows, your next project could be the one that changes everything. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.